Right, OK, let's get started. So this is the sides to our speaker. And we're just going to create two sides. Um, and one of them will be laser cut for our pattern and one of them will be laser cut for our speaker. So to start off with, step one is you need to have grid lock on. So you see here where my cursor is, just up here, you need to turn that on. That's going to make it easier for you to do everything more accurately and to the right measurements. And you're going to come across here to this tool and you're going to just select the first one. It should already be on that one anyway. And that's the square tool. Now, because you've got grid lock on, you can see that it snaps to these dots. And that's how we're going to be able to make everything um, properly measured. Now, before I start that, let me just show you down here. This is where you can see the measurements. So as you create a box, you need the numbers to read 100 and 100. It doesn't matter if it's got a minus in front of it or not, as long as it says 100. So look down there now and you will see the numbers climbing up to 100. So that box is now 100 by 100 millimetres. And I click it. Let me just do that properly because it slipped. Okay, now the next step is to go to this tool, the contour tool. And we're going to set the spacing to four millimeters. The reason for that is that's the thickness of the plywood. Okay, I'm going to click on the inside. The next job then is to come up here to the circle tool. We're going to go along to where it's got an R on it. We're going to set that to two. So a radius of two millimeters gives us a diameter of four millimeters, and we're using four millimeter dowel rod for our dowel joints. Okay, so we've drawn our pieces, and actually how this will work is the dowel rods will go through these dots, and they will join these two separate panels together. We need to put our designs in, so we're going to put our speaker in. Actually, first we're going to copy this. There are two dots down here, two squares. That's copy. And we're going to move it across. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our speaker in this one and our design in this one. So the speaker radius is 25.05 because it's 51 millimeters. And hit OK. We're going to put that in the center. We're then going to put our pattern, our design in here, whichever it is that you've decided to do. So I'm going to do uh, the bat logo, but it can be a butterfly or a logo or a pattern, um, anything you like, really. So I go to images. The main thing is that it needs to be a black and white image. So if it's too complicated, it's not going to work. So copy image and then paste. We need to vectorize this image so the laser cut can read it, and that's this button here. So I'll just click on it there, so you can see blue square with little dots, and then we click on the picture. We're going to come up here to monochrome to get rid of all these colors, and then we're going to hit OK, and hit OK again. We're going to go to the arrow tool which is that, and we're going to click on this, and we're going to come up here to fill, and we're going to click on no fill. That's just going to give us an outline of our pattern. Now we can move it into shape. When I'm doing this, if I drag the corner, I want to hold down the shift button on the keyboard, which is the arrow pointing upwards. And that means that it all stays in the same proportions and it doesn't shrink and the top or the side, in, it keeps it all the same shape, it just shrinks it down to scale. I'm going to position that where I want it. So I've now got my two sides, and we've got one final step ready to make our parts. Because we actually need four pieces all together. We need a big piece, and we need a small piece, and then we're going to use the dowel joints to join them together. And then that will provide the lap joints, because we'll be able to put our other uh, plywood into these gaps here. So you'll see that when we laser cut it, but for now you'll just have to trust me. I'm going to highlight them both, 
click on copy, drag it out of the way. So you should have four tiles that look like this. Now it's just a case of deleting the parts we don't want. So the top one, we're going to delete the outside box. So that gives us our small bits that are going to be on the inside. And I'm going to delete this as well. And then on the, this one, we're going to delete the inside box. That gives us a large piece, which is going to be the face. So now when the laser cutter cuts these out, Using a dowel joint, it will line these up perfectly to give you that 4mm step for all of the pieces. And it will also cut this out, which will give us a gap to put our finish of veneer in. And this will leave both these holes because the speaker is going to go all the way through to the inside. So that is it done. So you're going to save that and upload that into your Teams folder.